In this video, we'll create custom splash screen without using any package. I have already created an empty Flutter project. So, let's start. Inside lib, create a homepage.dart file. Inside it, create a stateless widget, named homepage. Create scaffold widget. Inside body, create center widget. Then create text widget inside it, and pass some text to it. Now, create a file inside lib folder named, splash screen.dart. Inside it, create stateful widget, named splash screen. Create scaffold widget. In main file, set splash screen as home. Also set this property to false to get rid of debug banner. Now, start this app as a Windows application. Go to splash screen file. In body, create center widget. Then create column widget. Set main axis size to minimum. Let me adjust the app's window size. Inside column, create Flutter logo widget. It will act as app logo. Set size to 100. Create size box and give some height to it. Then create text widget and pass app title. Create size box again and give some height. Now, create circular progress indicator. Now, create a late final animation controller named, animation controller, and initialize it. Now, set vSync to this. To use it, add ticker provider state mix in class. Now, use duration property, and pass duration widget to it, and set animation duration inside it. I'll set it to 2 seconds. Now, create a late final property named, animation, and initialize it with tween widget. Set begin property to 0, and end property to 1. Use dot animate method, and pass animation controller to it. Override dispose method, and dispose animation controller inside it. Now, override init state method. Initialize the animation using animation controller dot forward method. Now, create void method named navigator, make it async. Inside it, use future dot delayed method and pass duration widget to it and pass the time after which you want to go to next page. I'll set it to 7 seconds, also pass empty method to it. After it, use if statement and check if context if mounted or not. Then, use navigator, dot of context, dot push and remove until method to prevent user to come back to splash screen. Now pass context to builder, and return home page. Call this navigator method inside the init state method. Now wrap column widget with the fade transition widget. Set its opacity property to animation variable. Turn these values into double type by putting point after each. Now restart the app. And fade animation is working. Also, after 7 seconds home page is opened. This is basic idea, you can customize this page according to your needs. With this, our splash page is ready. Thanks for watching.